So this happened a couple years ago when I was 13 and my brother was 11. My parents had to go out and thought it would be better to leave me and my brother home alone. So that's what they did. They left taking my little sister, who was six, with them. My brother and I were all the way down in our basement, which is where we had our video game set up. So the two of us were just downstairs playing Mario Kart on the Wii. We had the home phone in between us, just in case our parents called. About an hour goes by, and the phone starts to ring. We look down at the caller ID, and it's our uncle. We decided to just let it ring. And how our phone worked, it would ring five times, then stop. One ring. Two ring. Three. The phone stops ringing. And my brother doesn't pay any attention to it, but I do realize that the only reason to stop that early is that someone picked up, but we were home alone. I get really suspicious, and my paranoia gets the better of me. I take my brother and we go upstairs to see the phone is still there, but there's still a phone on the third floor in my parents' room. We go towards the stairs, and what we saw chilled us to the bone. A man in his early 40s or 50s is all I can really tell you, because the second I saw him, my brother and I scream and run out the front door straight to our neighbor's house. We tell them what happened and they proceed to call the cops, then our parents. They come home fast and I don't know what's wrong with the man, but he never left the house. He just stood there. The police arrested him and from what I heard he was placed in a mental hospital, but that's just what I heard. The story might not be as crazy compared to others, but I just think of what could have happened to me and my brother if my uncle didn't decide to call. First, we will need contacts. My old house was pretty pumped up on security. We had a finger ID, passcodes on the door, cameras everywhere, an automatic security system that would call the police or play a fake, the cops have been called, message. The story happened a few years back. My dad noticed a weird looking man, pretty covered up, lurking on the street just outside of our house. We thought nothing of it since sometimes you get an occasional drunk or high person wandering around your neighborhood. But this man started to inch up closer to our home, first being on the opposite side of the street, then before we knew it, being basically on our property. We just sort of watched him to see what he would do. I'm pretty sure we got bored and walked away and just forgot. Then we started hearing strange noises coming from the downstairs where our front door was. We decided to switch on the camera, and sure enough, this guy is banging on our door trying to get in, and then he looks through the window. He gave up, but then started to go around the side. There was a set of stairs that led into an upper area where we were. He starts to head upstairs, which sent my dad to go to the side of the house that the man was on with a knife and scream at him. The guy runs, and we don't see him again. That's the end, right? wrong. The guy comes back later. I guess he saw the car was gone from the driveway. My dad had gone to get something, leaving me and my mom. We didn't want to confront the guy, so we had the idea of playing the fake cop alert that could be heard outside. So we played it and as soon as the guy heard it, he ran. Never saw him again and never want to. What makes this story creepier is on the news later, it showed a guy that had been lurking around houses and actually killed people had just been arrested. It was the same man who was at our house. 